This is an in-service training program presented by Nutrition Care Systems. Today's topic, diabetes management in long-term care. Today's learning objectives. Number one, staff will be able to state three goals of diabetes management for residents in long-term care facilities. Number two, staff will be able to state three reasons why sugar restriction is not recommended for the long-term care population. And number three, staff will be able to state the current nutrition recommendations for older adults with diabetes. Now, diabetes affects up to 20% of residents in the long-term care setting, and residents in these facilities may not be as concerned about controlling their diabetes as far as the long-term complications because their lifespan is usually limited. But the day-to-day -day impact of diabetes management on functional activities, cognition, and quality of life are very important for these individuals. So blood sugars are affected by many factors besides the diet in an older adult. It can be from infection, uh, medications. As individuals age, then the benefits of tight control of blood glucose really does decrease. It's more of an issue when someone is younger. Here's some other basic information with diabetes. Current medical nutritional therapy for diabetes in the long-term care setting has liberalized the guidelines for dietary management of diabetes. So the previously recommended diet of a no concentrated sweet is really not appropriate anymore for persons with diabetes in the long-term care facility. So elevated blood sugar should be managed with medication and not by dietary changes. So there shouldn't be any orders for 1500 ADA diet or 1800 ADA diet. Implementation of these recommendations will require extensive education of staff, residents, physicians, and families. As a lot of people have some old school belief as far as diabetes that you've got to make sure you put people on these restrictive diets. So a lot of education needs to happen. So some of the goals of diabetes management in long-term care, first one would be manage hyperglycemia and its short-term effects that include slowed brain function, lethargy, and dehydration. Secondly, restore metabolic abnormalities resulting from diabetes back to normal as soon as possible. And then lastly, control the blood pressure and blood lipids. So as we mentioned, there is no evidence to support prescribing no concentrated sweet or no sugar added diet. Residents who are provided a less restrictive or like a general regular diet tend to eat more and therefore they have the ability to prevent unintended weight loss. So even if someone has diabetes, they don't necessarily have to be on a no concentrated sweet or low sugar uh, added diet. Restrictive diets do not meet current guidelines of the American Diabetes Association and they're really unnecessary in long-term care setting. Medication changes rather than diet changes should be used to control blood sugars. Those residents that have diabetes should be served their regular menu with consistency in the amount and timing of the carbohydrates. Dietary fiber should be incorporated into the diet through whole grain breads and cereals, fruits and vegetables. Dietary fat and calories should not be restricted due to risk for weight loss in this population. So we're going to make sure we encourage healthy snacks such as fruits, vegetables, dairy foods, nuts to avoid eating empty calories and then try to increase physical activity when it's possible or feasible for the resident. So implementing the current guidelines for diabetes in long-term care, make sure we get the medical director, administrator, director of nursing, all buying into the guidelines before changes could be made. Residents and staff must be notified of the use of regular diets for diabetic patients because some people may see someone who's a diabetic and see them get a regular diet and then feel that that's incorrect. So we gotta make sure there's proper education for the staff and the residents. Nursing staff, dietary staff, and CNAs must be educated on need for consistent carbohydrates for those with diabetes. Let's take a short quiz on what you learned regarding diabetes management in long-term care. 
Number one, medical nutritional therapy for long-term care residents with diabetes should A. Limit salt and fluid intake. B. Provide a diet with a consistent amount and timing of carbohydrates. C. Allow snacking on sweets as desired. Or D. None of the above. So question number one, medical nutritional therapy for long-term care residents with diabetes should B. Provide a diet as you remember with consistent amount and timing of carbohydrates. We don't want to restrict the diet totally, but just have a consistent amount and timing of carbohydrates. Question number two, which of the following is not part of a healthy diet for persons with diabetes in a long-term care facility? A. Dietary fiber. B. Healthy snacks. C. Fluid restriction. Or D. Consistent carbohydrates. Question number two. Which of the following is not part of a healthy diet for persons with diabetes in long-term care? And remember, dietary fiber is important. Healthy snacks are extremely important. But a fluid restriction is not necessary. And obviously, consistent carbohydrates are very important. Question number three. Symptoms of hyperglycemia in older adults can include which of the following? A. Lethargy. B. Dehydration. C. Slow brain function. Or D. All the above. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs or dietitian consulting services, please contact us at Nutrition Care Systems, 800-761-9200 or nutritioncaresystems.com.